Hey guys, it's Kelly. I am back with a process video. This layout is for the Wild Hair Kits and I am using bits and pieces from my January kit and also going to create my own background page. So I just showed at the beginning that I'm using the Vicki Booten, um, I don't know what exactly what it's called, but it's her paper that is meant for mixed media. It's a thicker weight and I had not used it before and I wanted to see how it would work. So I have some of the flowers from Paige's collection to the left so that I can pick some colors that complement for the background. <clears throat> so the, the layout that I'm going to be doing is um, a couple of pictures of me and my mom. And if you um, are just kind of follow, new to following me or haven't seen a lot of my previous um, process videos, my mom has dementia. And... Um, you know, some days are good, some days are not so good. Um, I did move her into assisted living, but I still see her um, at least three days a week, and I talk to her just about every day. So um, anyway, I wanted to do um, like a meaningful layout, but with color with um, without words because sometimes when I'm trying to think about what I want to write you know I'm not an eloquent writer things just don't come out like I would like and I I thought that with doing this um, it would show like the complexities of dementia or Alzheimer's and um, one of the things that I thought of with the background was that I wanted to first have a background color and that was that um, pale aqua and then I'm bringing some of the blues and the periwinkle on top. Um, again, these are both colors that are in the flowers, but my thought was is that I want to have several different layers of color on the background with some of the aqua showing through. And other people do this seamlessly, not for me. I really had to work it and it got everywhere on my mat. But my, as I was creating this, what I thought about was the fact that, you know, bits and pieces of my mom's personality poke out. They come to the surface and then other times they're hidden by, you know, other things that are going on with her. And that was kind of like my thought with this is, you know, it's many different colors associated with this dreadful disease. And um, that was kind of like just me having my art therapy. And the, the choice of my cut file is also another part of it because, um, you know, it, it's the circle of life and it, it's very fractured. There's very fractured moments. There are good moments. There's bad moments. There's moments that make me want to scream. There's mo moments that make me want to cry. There's moments that make me want to laugh. And, you know, I, if this is getting really deep, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to show you that your feelings and your thoughts can be made into a layout without necessarily pouring out the words. Because like I said, sometimes I just don't want to put those words down. So anyway, back to the creative part. I did not show you all of me backing the cut file. I chose, let's see, like four or five different triangles to back and pattern paper. And all of the papers are from Paige's, um, well, not so new collection now that her newest one has come out. But this is the um, Whimsical collection. And then the rest I um, backed with vellum. Again, it adds a little bit of dimension, but it also, you know, represents part of this illness. And, you know, as I was making it and it was starting to come together, it just really kind of, uh, you know, it was just one of those moments that I needed because, you know, uh, lately the moments have been not so good. So, um, this day, this particular day, this particular moment when I, you know, took the selfies of us, she was having a good day. We had gone and gotten our hair cut and life was good at that particular moment. So anyway, I've decided what I want to do is because I love these flowers, I want to nestle them underneath the circle and on top, I decided to back the cut file with the craft foam. This is just regular craft foam. I have a bunch of it that does not have adhesive on the back. So I'm trying to use this before I go and buy 
the uh, foam that has the adhesive already on the back because I think that that is much easier to work with, but you know, I want to work with what I have and use what I have. So again, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and back all of the pieces with foam. And I really do like the way that it looks. This layout is definitely something that is different from what I would normally do, but that was exactly what I wanted because, you know, with this illness, um, life is definitely different and there's just no telling what you're going to get, um, you know, day to day. So again, I know that I can't back the pieces that have the vellum. So every available spot that's covered with cardstock, I'm trying to make sure that I have um, foam just to help give it some some more stability. Um, those little bits and pieces don't seem like they add much, but it made me feel better. So the title I cut out of um, with my silhouette, and I did it in white cardstock, and I did it at the same time that I cut out um, the circle. The circle, I believe, is from the cut shop. And the word moment, you know, you guys, I'm sorry, I wrote down the the font that I used. It's a free font and I can't find the piece of paper that I wrote it down on. Hence, that's the story of my life. And I'm not sure what it is other than I know that I probably either got it, um, I probably got it at defont.com and it is one of their free cursive fonts. Maybe one of you guys will know and if you do, leave it in the description for me. And if I come across it, I will certainly add it underneath the detail section. So I love the way that the floral die cuts look, you know, peeking out from both sides of the, of the photos. And I wanted to add a smaller cluster down underneath the title, which is that uh, purple flower right there. So when I'm choosing my flowers, what I'm trying to do is balance out some of the darker colors. Like there's that really dark blue flower to the left and I wanted to balance out with that butterfly up top and the, the darker leaves on the right hand side and um, also in that third cluster. So, you know, I'm just letting you know those are kind of the thoughts that I have um, when I'm doing, when I'm choosing which uh, flowers or clusters to put where. It's just when I have, um, you know, some of the darker pieces um, all around the page rather than just clustered into one spot. So I am using um, the Scotch Tacky Adhesive and that is in a fine line bottle. I got mine at Hobby Lobby but Amazon also sells them and um, I find it in the, the, the I want to say toy car section. Um, you know, the little section where the hobby cars, where you build the cars, that's where I find it in my Hobby Lobby. Um, but you, like I said, you can get it on Amazon. It's like the best $5 that I spend. I love that it allows me to have control over the amount of glue that I use um, when it comes to, you know, putting it on my page. Um, this Scotch tacky adhesive a little goes a long way and that is another reason why I love this glue. You don't need to have so much of it. So I do uh, at the end a couple of things that I did off camera and it was just because I came back to the page the next day and realized oh you didn't um, add the, the date and I wanted to do that and so I'm going to tell you the first thing I did was I just stamped the date onto the background using my black Versafine ink and it smudged and I'm not sure why because I didn't move the stamp but it just kind of like bled a little bit so I re-stamped it onto a label and just covered up my mistake and then I added a few sequins that came in the kit as well. I meant to do it when I was creating the layout originally, but just kind of, you know, it slipped my mind when I was doing it. And I added a little bit of journaling and it says, you know, this moment, little moments like this are ones that I treasure, which is true because it's, you know, the glimpse of the mom that I grew up with and not the mom that I'm dealing with now. And, um, you know, I'm trying to find positive things and joy in all of the little moments, but I will be honest, sometimes it can be hard. And, you know, that's why 
creating is so important to me because like I said, this is definitely my therapy. And it was just nice to be able to get my feelings onto a page, like I said, without words. So anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, I hope the story didn't depress you too much. But I just want to let you know that, you know, if you're struggling, you're not alone. There's uh, a lot of us that have different struggles and just take heart in that little bit. So I do have some close-ups at the end. And I hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.